y'all and welcome to the crazy sock lady youtube channel my name is Kay, and this is my channel where i share all about my knitting crocheting and crafting adventures we have episode 144 today it is june 8th i just had to look down and see what episode and what day it is it's it's early this morning it's a lot earlier than i normally record but i needed to get a head start on this today because i've got a lot of orders to take to the post office that we packaged yesterday and then a lot more to package today we will talk more about that in admin i will update you guys on order status on where we are on packing orders but you can find me on instagram and ravelry as the crazy sock lady and we do have a Ravelry group for this podcast that is kind of the hub of information for this year's Summer Sock Camp. If you are interested in hearing what all Summer Sock Camp is about, you can head over there and check out the welcome desk for Summer Sock Camp. So many finished pairs of socks already. I can't believe it. Y'all are so fast. I'm loving seeing all of the works in progress, all of the finished objects for camp. It has been so fun. Um, before we jump into talking more about Summer Sock Camp and admin stuff, today I have a finished object. I have brought down how many works in progress? One, two, three, four, five. I just grabbed a bunch <laughs> because I cast on a lot of socks since the last episode. We have the giveaway winner from last episode. We will, as always, do a new giveaway for this episode. And I think that's about it. There is a new video that went up today for camp. So let's go ahead and jump into talking camp, st camp stuff and admin stuff for just a few moments. There's a new video that went up this week. They will be going up probably weekly throughout June and July is my plan. Um, this week it is how to knit a contrast heel turn. I have a pair of socks here that I can show you from that tutorial. So for this one, this is the Mandy's Making yarn for Summer Sock Camp 2021, the main collar, and then she had a mini that came with it. So for this pair of shorty socks that I did, I just did a contrast heel turn. That is the only spot that I used that mini. Uh, let me show you with it off the blocker. So in the tutorial, I just show you how I did that. If you have knit a lot of socks, you're like, oh, that's easy. I don't even need the tutorial. You're right. You probably don't. It's pretty simple. But I just go over how I did that, how I started the first row and all of that. So you can check that out if you want. Then just a reminder, Summer Sock Camp runs the Knit Along for Summer Sock Camp started June 1st and ends August 31st. And all of the details for that are in the Ravelry group. I have also done a YouTube video, an IG live where I talked about camp, but really the place to find all of the information is going to be that welcome desk in the Ravelry group. I have everything listed in post number one. Then the chatter threads are open for each individual cabin and post one in those also has more details on what items count as finished objects, how to enter them, etc. I had my first week of VIP campers last week and I think it went pretty well. I hope that they all really enjoyed it and had a good time. I know I did. For me it's so much fun which I should say first the VIP camper slots have sold out for this year's camp so those are all, all sold out but it's so much fun for me to get to have that more in-depth interaction with those VIP groups. There's two VIP groups per week throughout June and July. It's so much fun for me to get to have that more in-depth interaction. And I get to I get that interaction sometimes through comments or if you comment on Instagram or send me an email, but just to have that chat that we're having all that week on Discord and then to have those Zoom knit groups, it is it was so much fun last week. And this week it's we haven't done our Zooms yet, but we're on the Discord chat and it's just nice to get to know people to put a a face with the name of people that you know I've interacted with here and there in comments and different things so it's been a lot of fun so far and I'm really enjoying it now just shipping for just a moment so all of the first round pre-order 
enamel pins and progress keepers will be out this week. The first round, there's a second round up right now, but if you were in the first round, those will all be out this week. We are completely sold out of sock rulers on Etsy at the moment, and we only have 10 16 inch needles left so far, the Chalgu 16 inch needles. Um, we are completely sold out of US 1 2.25 millimeter. We have, I think there was nine US 0 2 millimeter and only one US 1.5 millimeter. Yes, I think that's correct. <laughs> um, the sock rulers, I have a box that I've gotten from them to restock, but I'm gonna restock after I get all these orders packaged this week. So those will be restocked later this week, along with hopefully a lot of other items next week at the latest. So just keep an eye out, I'll announce when all of that is up. I'll be putting more needles and different things in as well. I think that's it. So, well, sock rollers and 16 inch needles, if you've ordered those and they are not, they don't have a pre-order item from the second round of pre-orders, then those will be out this week as well. I'm working so hard this week to package all of the orders that are not in with an item from the second round of pre-orders because those are not in to me yet. So yeah, lots of stuff going out this week. <laughs> I think that's it for admin. I'm ready to talk knitting because I have so many socks to show you guys. I of course have some coffee this morning because like I said, it's a lot earlier than I normally, or than I've been recording lately. I used to record pretty early. Okay, finished object. I finished my May share a pair of socks. I should put them on blockers so that I can show you guys. I've had a lot of questions on if I'll be stocking these metal blockers. Maybe, I'll never say never. I just haven't looked into it at the moment. I'm still working on getting some other things in that I wanted to stock and still working on getting everything that I have in the Etsy shop. So maybe down the line. So here's my finished May share a pair of socks. This yarn is from Mandy's Makings. It was the May share a pair set a beautiful rain. And I'm gonna put on the bottom of the screen here because I forgot to weigh. I was gonna weigh and see how much I had left of each. So I'll put that on the bottom of the screen here and in my project page on Ravelry as well. Because my goal with these was I get asked a lot, the share pairs, can you do two matching socks? Because they are 50 grams of the one collar and 50 grams of the other. So you get 100 grams total, but 50 grams of each. So for these, I knit these on nine inch circulars, US zero, two millimeter, cast on 64 stitches. I did 20 rounds of knit two purl two ribbing, slip stitch heel flap. This was the vanilla socks on nine inch circulars. I only did 50 rounds for the leg though. That pattern has 60, I believe. I only did 50. So I definitely had enough and I had a little bit to spare of the main collar. Like I said, I will have put that on the bottom of the screen because I forgot to weigh it. I love how these turned out. I've started my June share a pair. I think I showed that yarn last episode. It is the summer sock camp yarn, but in a share a pair set. So I've started those. I'm planning on matching those and striping them, alternating every two rounds like I do. I just didn't bring them down because I've done the cuff and that's it. <laughs> so I thought, well, I will just save those and show them next time since I haven't really done anything but the cuff. Works in progress. I just grabbed a bunch, so we will just go through these. This is in my bag from So Crazy Cap Crafter, the summer sock camp bag. And I have my enamel pins on there from last year and this year. This is one of my cast-ons for Summer Sock Camp. This is Skein Cocaine yarn in her The Special colorway on her Hot Sock Base, which is an 80% Superwash Merino, 20% Nylon, 
437 yards, 113 grams. This yarn is gorgeous. So, so pretty. I'm doing these on two circulars, 16 inch US 1, 2.25 millimeter. And I've started the heel flap, but I have only done like two, four, I've only done four rounds or four rows of the heel flap. That is it. This yarn is definitely thicker. It's a very plump 80-20. So definitely thicker than what I typically use, but I still think it's going to work work well and fit nicely. I'm doing vanilla socks on magic loop, but I did knit two purl two ribbing and um, 50 rounds for the leg. I've got my markers there marking every 10th round. So yeah, really enjoying these. I've been working on these a lot in the mornings when I get on the exercise bike because we've had some rainy, yucky mornings. So I've hopped on there for a workout instead of going outside to, to get one in. My next sock is in a bag from Stolen Minutes. This is not a cast on for camp. This was cast on when Carrie and I went to Kentucky. This is Ba yarn and the colorways, let me double check because I can't remember what they were. Um, Moroccan Nights is this color for the cuff. And May 2019 is the main color. I have not measured with my sock ruler, so I'm not exactly sure where I am, but I still have a little bit to go, I think. Oh, can you guys hear the dishwasher playing its song, telling me that it's done? <laughs> so yeah, I really have enjoyed these. The yarn is beautiful. It is so pretty. So I've really been enjoying these. Um, I just need to, I need to measure, see where I'm at. I might be almost ready for the toe, I feel like. That would be super exciting. And I'm going to do the toe in the Moroccan Nights too. And these are US Zero 2 millimeter Chowgu 9 inch vanilla socks on 9 inch circulars. Same old, same old as I've been doing lately. Knit 2 Pearl 2 cuff, 50 round leg. Very much enjoying it. I have my team cuff down. Progress Keeper marking the round I did the heel flap on. Those will be restocked soon, within the next couple of weeks. All right. Oh, I have a one finished sock out of this pair. This is another bag from Stolen Minutes. And I finished this sock this morning during my 30 minutes of knitting. This is a pair of socks that I'm doing for Eric. This yarn is so beautiful. I've been dying to cast this on since I got it. This is by A Girl and Her Wool. The main color is graffiti and then the contrast is golden hour. So you can see I did just a little pop at the cuff. I cast on with the golden hour and knit two rounds in knit two pearl two ribbing. I think I talked about this last week. Um, then switch to graffiti, knit one round plain, no ribbing, and then started in with the ribbing and finished off the cuff. I did 50 rounds for the leg. And then a contrast heel flap, heel turn, and toe. I just love this yarn. Look, I mean, look at the, there's like a bright blue. It is so pretty and that contrast just goes perfect with it. I have not started the second sock. It is not. <laughs> I'm hoping while I'm doing some editing today on videos, I will get that second sock cast on because if I don't have a lot of things I have to like take out, if there's not a lot of like 
spots where I misspoke or, you know, whatever the case may be, then I can just watch, make sure there's nothing and knit. So hopefully I'll get this second sock cast on. I loved this yarn so much that I feel like this sock flew off of my needles, especially compared to the progress I've made on other socks that I've cast on. This one flew, completely flew. I am so happy with how it turned out. I did those, I don't think I said, Magic Loop US 1 2.25 millimeter needles, vanilla socks on Magic Loop. Okay, the next two are actually patterned socks. Oh my goodness, it's been a while, huh? So this next one is in the Summer Sock Camp bag from Stolen Minutes. This yarn is by Barnyard Knits in the Robin's Nest colorway. And I am, you cannot see the patterning yet. I've literally done half a round of the first round of patterning, but this is going to be the Sock Camp Picnic Socks. I showed that pattern and those finished socks last week. It is exclusive to the VIP campers until August 1st when it is released to the general public and can be purchased then. But this is what I've got done so far. Just the ribbing, the cuff is done. I've done one round or not even a whole round of the pattern, first pattern row. So really enjoying that one. I did make a mistake in the ribbing and I'm not even I'm not even going to fix it. I don't even care. <laughs> I don't even know if you can see it. Yeah, you can, I think. Where I was supposed to be knitting, I purled for one stitch. And then where I was supposed to purl, I knit for a stitch. I'm not that bothered. Here's the yarn and the cake. Beautiful color. It's definitely getting blown out on there. Nine inch, US zero, two millimeter, 64 stitches. I think that pattern is really gonna show up well with that yarn. Okay, this one is a pattern sock as well. This is in a bag by Daisy Girl and Company. I love, I have two of these bags and I love them so much, especially for two at a time, which I haven't done in forever. And after just what I've done on these, I'm like, why don't I do this more often? So you'll probably be seeing two at a time more often. But these bags are so fun. They have a little peekaboo spot on the front, which I love because then you can see what is in there and it just makes me want to work on it even more. And then there's her logo on the back. So in here I have my heel toe do -si do socks using the Desert Vista Dye Works Summer Sock Camp 2021 colorway. And I have a tutorial here on YouTube for how I do socks two at a time. I'm sorry, you guys can probably hear that. Or maybe you can't. It's my week two people chatting in Discord. Okay. But my tutorial on YouTube for two at a time socks, I go over how I like to cast on knit one cuff, then I place it on DPNs, cast on knit the second cuff, and then put the one on DPNs back on the circular and it just makes it less fiddly when you're starting out. So this is a 40 inch Chowgu US1 2.25 millimeter needle. These will be in the shop when I get all of the other needles in there. And here's where I am so far. You can see the pattern a little bit taking shape there. This is such a fun one and it's so perfect for self-striping yarn. It truly is. And it's a two row pattern repeat, so easy to memorize. It looks good in non-self-striping as well, but I, I really love it for self-striping. And then on the back, it's just plain stockinette. So you get to see how the yarn looks in plain stockinette and with the pattern. So I'm hoping to get to work on these a little bit more soon. It, the yarn does have a 
mini skein. And I think I will use that for the heel flap and heel turn. And then probably the toe as well. I'm not sure yet. Definitely the heel flap and heel turn. All right, that's it. That's all I brought down. Do I have anything? I have other things going. <laughs> but that's all I brought down to show today. I am dying. I can't stop thinking about the homespun house yarn I showed last week. I'm still dying to cake some of that up and cast it on. It's going to have to happen very soon. I just can't decide which one to do first. If you guys watched last week and you remember the what ones there were, which one do you think I should cast on first? Because I can't decide. But it needs to happen. As soon as I finish the girl in her wool, I think I'm going to cast that on. Because I feel like I'll probably have that sock done by next week. The second sock for that. Okay. We have giveaway winner to announce from last episode. In this week's giveaway, but let's chat mail for a minute. So I did receive my Knit Crate box. I think I mentioned that last week, uh, my Knit Crate subscription. I did an unboxing video for that. It is up on YouTube now. I will link it. There is a giveaway going for that episode or video. It's not really an episode, but that video as well. If you head over and check that out. And then I also have my Yarnable box for June. Y'all don't want to miss that unboxing. It's probably gonna go up the day after this podcast goes up, but June's is so good. You do not want to miss that one. But let's chat mail and then we'll talk giveaway stuff. Just gonna go down through here. So I received my row one subscription for this month. Let's open this up. You always have a little packet with some information. Oh, we have some little treats. That one, blue raspberry. I've never had these before. Hmm. And the progress keeper is a bicycle that's cute love all their little extras they put in there so let's see who the yarn dyer is for this month's row one pancake and lulu i love that i learn about all new different yarn dyers with this row one it is so much fun their merino nylon fingering is a 75 percent superwash merino 25 percent nylon fingering weight yarn pancake and lulu yarn is a one woman indie fiber dyeing company headed by amy nur nur i'm not sure how to pronounce your last name i'm sorry and based in princeton new jersey they have all this has all of the information about the yarn dyer for the month it has the colorway names listed on here it gives you the website for where you can find the yarn dyer as well now let's take a look at the mini skeins because i don't even think i've said row one <laughs> is a mini skein subscription service that does a different yarn dyer every month oh these are beautiful I love that these come with a label around them that has the yarn dyer's name and the colorway name because for me if you're someone like I have a ton of mini skeins and scraps like you can kind of see scraps and minis in here and then I have a couple of baskets in my cabinet and I just typically will dump things in there and if they aren't labeled you pull it out and you're like oh my gosh I don't remember what this was who like where it even came from so for a mini skein subscription service to take the time to label each of these with the yarn dyer 
and the colorway name, you can easily go back and say, oh my gosh, you know, if it's months down the road when you knit it up, I love this. I need it in a full skein. Let me see if I can find it. You have that information right there. So I love that they do that. I see so many like purples. Ooh, midnight birthday. That one right there. Oh, that's pretty. So many pretty cactus flower is beautiful. Gorgeous. And I will have links down below this video. There'll be links to all of my project pages. Everything that I showed you that I'm working on has a project page. So that will all be down below. Links to shops that I talk about will be down below. You can find everything you should need right down below this video. Okay. We have a package from Quilting Princess. These are donations for Summer Sock Camp to be put into prize packs. So we have, I'm just gonna open up one of these. They look like they're the same. Some cute little notions pouches. So precious. So she sent two of these. They're in um, packaging. So bear with me as I'm taking them out so that I can show them and putting them back in. And she says some mug rugs. I have one of her mug rugs that she sent me and I love it. So there's this one. And then one more, the same style, but it's different fabric, this one. So I'm going to take it out. Oh, I love the back of this one. I haven't taken it out yet. So pretty. And I will have her shop linked below as well. So these will be perfect to put in some prize packages for summer sock camp. Okay. Next, and I'm gonna double check this because I don't think, so she does not, not positive if she has a shop. I'll double check and if she has a shop I will link it down below. But a viewer sent this project bag in. It is so super camp, camp themed. I love the color of this. It matches so well and there's camp fabric on the inside. It is a nice big drawstring bag. So this will be a prize for summer sock camp. And like I said, I'm not positive if she has a shop. She didn't put a link. Um, but I will double check that. And if there is one, it will be linked down below. I'm going to put this in here. So <laughs> I remember to double check that. Okay. This one, oh my goodness, I was so just completely blown away by this. I showed this on Instagram as well. So this is from Danielle of Midwest Stitches. Actually, I'm going to leave this in. It's the same pretty much, isn't it? 
pretty much we'll show it so this is the one that she sent for me it is a project bag and it has like the cork kind of fabric on the bottom she has her logo on that side but then look on this side oh my gosh i love this so much and then look at her zipper it's like a coffee cup here's the inside fabric it is so good there is a pocket it's a boxed bottom it is so well made a nice handle perfect size for socks I love the zipper so she sent this one for me and then she sent this one for y'all I'm gonna leave it in here because I don't want the sticker to tear so it says summer sock camp so so pretty I love it. So I am going to link her down below so that y'all can run over and check out Midwest Stitches. It is gorgeous. I was so blown away when I opened this bag. Is that, oh, I have one more thing to show and then we'll do our giveaway stuff. So I have a package from Three by the Sea and they are in these. There's one for me and one for a prize. They're in these cute tins. I'll just go through one of them. They're the same other than I think some of the collars and things are different. So we've got some flip flops. They are progress keepers and stitch markers. Starbucks coffee, because you have to have coffee. camp theme ones yarn of course okay my battery died so I think I was showing I had to grab my other battery I think I was showing this so there's some yarn and then a campfire so cute I'm so excited to start using these on my socks for sock camp so this one will be for me and then I have one like I said same stuff some of the colors are different um, that we are going to use with our giveaway this time so our giveaway for this episode will be the summer sock camp project bag and the three by the sea progress keepers and stitch markers. So those are going to be our giveaway for this episode. All you have to do is comment down below and that will enter you to win any comment that you put. And then I will draw a winner on the next episode. Three by the sea did give us a coupon code before I forget. It is sock camp and that will get you 15% off through the end of June. So their shops will be linked down below. Our giveaway for last episode was the zebra yarn. And it was so funny reading through because I asked, what do you guys see when you see this? Because I see the Wicked Witch. And it was so fun to see all the different things that people saw. Some of you did see a zebra, a zebra with a sunburn, Wicked Witch. Um, the old joke, what's black, white, and red, R-E-A-D, all over um, a newspaper. So it was so fun to read through the comments and see the different things that everybody saw. And... I did draw a winner this morning before I sat down to record and that winner is Judy McCarty. So congratulations, Judy. If you would just get in touch with me at crazy sock lady podcast at gmail.com and give me your shipping information, then I can get that sent out to you. So thank you so much to all of the generous makers who have donated giveaway prizes, prizes for summer sock camp, I appreciate y'all so much and I know that our viewers do as well. If you are a maker of any kind and you want to donate a prize for a giveaway on the podcast or for Summer Sock Camp, you can just get in touch with me at crazysockladypodcast at gmail.com or if it's for Summer Sock Camp at summersockcamp at gmail.com just because I'm trying to keep all of those separate. Um, you can just get in touch with me and we can coordinate that 
or my P.O. box is always listed down below the YouTube videos. You can just send anything to the P.O. box. All right, I think that's it for this episode. I think that's it. Um, chatter, we've been doing so much work, <laughs> packing orders, getting things done. It's been so busy and I am so extremely thankful to all of you for your continued support in the different ventures that I'm taking Crazy Sock Lady. I really, truly appreciate it. My family truly appreciates it so, so much. The boys have been helping out more Austin than Wyatt. What are you going to do? He's 11. <laughs> um, but Austin's really been enjoying helping out with packing orders and getting product ready to list. He's really enjoyed doing all of that. So that's been fun to have him help out. Over the weekend, we had kind of a busy weekend. So Eric actually ended up buying a Jeep Wrangler as well. If you've watched for a little while, you know, I, I bought a Jeep Wrangler like it was May 22nd. So weeks ago and it was so funny because when I first started talking about wanting a Jeep, Eric's like, oh, I do not like Jeeps. We had had a couple of Jeeps, not Wranglers, but just a couple of Jeeps as a rental car here and there in the past and he didn't like them. He didn't like driving them. He just wasn't a fan. So he was like, oh, I just don't like Jeeps. If you want one, you know, it's your car, but and you're getting it, that's on you, <laughs> but I don't like them. He just was not a fan at all. And he t he drove some of the, he drove the Gladiator, because when I went to get mine, I test drove like four different ones, three different ones. I can't remember how many we test drove, but we drove a Gladiator and then like three, two or three Wranglers. And he drove them as well. And he, he didn't really say much about them like he commented that oh it, it drives nice but didn't really give much beyond you know what i ask opinion wise like questions that i ask his opinion on what i ask um but then it was funny when his mom was in town he made a comment like oh, i never get to drive i never get to drive the jeep <laughs> and i thought well that's kind of funny because he wasn't a jeep fan so i didn't think he would really want to but when we went out of town to lebanon the weekend before last, I was like, you can drive down. And then I just kind of let him drive all weekend. We didn't really go too many places, but I let him drive down there. I let him drive to the winery. The We went to the winery Friday and Saturday. I had also made the comment that Rosie, my Jeep, was a pavement princess because I have no plans to take her off-roading on trails. I just don't. <laughs> Not at this time anyways, maybe one day. Um, and they, oh, you know, Jeeps are for off-roading, like all of this stuff. So I thought, well, he wants a toy, I guess. And I don't know if he's that serious about it. He was serious, apparently, because Friday when we went out for date night, he was like, look at this Jeep. I want to go look at this. It was a Willys and all this stuff. And then he went and test drove a couple of them Saturday morning and ended up getting a new to him used 2017 jeep wrangler rubicon a black one he has not named it yet he needs to name for him i keep i'm on him but i just thought it was so funny and i asked him i was like why the change what happened like you did not like jeeps at all and his response was well i had never driven a wrangler <laughs> <laughs> so he's a Wrangler fan, 100%. It is so funny now. Our neighbors are probably like, what the heck is going on over there? Like, she got a Jeep and now he's got a Jeep. So we have his and hers Jeeps parked out front and it just cracks me up. It is so funny. The guy, the salesman that sold us Rosie was the same salesman that worked with Eric to get his and he had called Eric because Eric had like put in an appointment online to test drive and he called Eric and was like, dude, what's going on? Like you couldn't let your wife have all the fun. Were you jealous? <laughs> so I thought that was really funny. And then they were all like, oh yeah, your wife couldn't have all the fun, huh? He was like, yeah, I'm kind of jealous. I needed one. <laughs> so anyways, that was our weekend. And then we also went to the Loveland Castle in Loveland, Ohio. I posted a little bit about that in my Insta stories, but those only last for 24 hours. But it was so 
neat to see it was this castle that this man built by himself you know with his hand two hands like he built this castle i can't remember how many years it took him to build it but it was very interesting um to walk through that and see that and i had never been down to loveland so we went to the castle um took a jeep ride down to the castle and then had lunch in loveland and walked around for a bit so it was a very nice nice weekend but i think that wraps up this episode I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I will see you next week for the next episode. Until then, happy knitting. Bye.